Good morning, everyone. David Paul speaking. Uh, I'm the managing director of VectorVest here in the UK. Uh, I've entitled this uh, brief talk, It's Time to be Brave. Uh, and uh, it doesn't mean that risk has gone away, folks, but we don't want to avoid risk. We need to manage it. Uh, and uh, that's what I'm going to try and talk about this morning. Uh, so uh, things have changed a lot since I spoke uh, last week. Uh, we've had um, uh, a very, very good day yesterday uh, on the markets around the world, and I see they're continuing with that today. Uh, that's the uh, UK uh, Vector Vest market timing chart. It's an equally weighted index of all of the shares that we follow on the London market uh, with our medium term timing signals. And as you can see, that red triangle marked uh, the uh, sell off uh, in February, and that medium term timing system still hasn't given a buy signal in the UK market. The short-term uh, timing signal uh, used by spread betters, short-term swing traders, that has given a buying signal yesterday. Uh, so uh, the uh, green uh, line study below the price is our proprietary buy-sell ratio, which is a measure of the breadth of the advance. And as you can see, that's still on its knees. It means that although we're having an advance at the moment, it's uh, uh, not broad based, that's not great. Nevertheless, uh, looking much, much more positive, and I'll talk about the shares that I'm holding positions in uh, in a second. Uh, US, in fact, uh, that's the US market timing chart. Again, uh, the Vector S composite of the US, uh, an equally weighted index of the 8,000 plus shares that we follow on the uh, US stock market. And that, in fact, has given a medium term buy signal. Uh, the medium term sell signal came in uh, very timelessly right uh, at the start of February. And uh, that's kept us out of this market until in fact yesterday. So uh, after that big day up yesterday, uh, the uh, medium term timing system that we refer to as the DEW, I'll spare you the acronym this morning, but uh, that has given a buy signal. So it's time to be brave, folks. Nobody knows what's going to happen next, uh, but uh, we don't want to avoid risk. We want to manage it. So uh, in the UK, uh, I have taken a position in Avon Rubber. It's a tiny position, and I intend to add to that position. Uh, the share has done exceptionally well over the last couple of days, hasn't pulled back at all. Uh, as you can see, that's a five-year chart. Uh, earnings per share growing strongly. That's the blue line study in the window below the price. It pulled back to the last old top fund, support there, and had a good day yesterday. So like the look of Avon Rubber. Lion Trust Asset Management, similarly, uh, an exceptionally good track record here, growing earnings per share strongly. Pulled back to that uh, fairly obvious support line, which was also an old high, and has found strength there. Uh, so I would expect that share to do well. Now, uh, the shares that I'm talking about today have all got a high relative safety value on VectorVest. And in both the UK and the US, I'm looking at those shares at the moment because uh, we have a very dodgy couple of months of earnings ahead of us. And I believe that those companies uh, with solid balance sheets uh, will do exceptionally well in this period. When, they, when we come out the other end of this, they'll be able to pick up assets for uh, at knockdown prices. So uh, all of the shares that I'm talking about have high relative safety numbers. On Invectivest, you can find those shares with one click. So the next one, uh, is Games Workshop. Games Workshop uh, pushed up again off that fairly obvious trend line. I think you can see the theme here of strong earnings per share growth over the last five years, not a five minute job. Uh, and uh, again, Games Workshop pulled back to the last old top. And for those of you that are FIB scholars, you'll find that there's a Fibonacci retracement, a 78% retracement there as well. Uh, GB Group, very similar story, folks. Uh, it's been noisy in there, I know. Uh, but the volatility has been quite something. Nevertheless, I believe that's a very important long-term support area. I like to buy in at what I call the danger point, where the uh, risk is least and the possibility of reward is greatest. And that's certainly a danger point uh, in GB Group. Okay, I like the look of that. Uh, and Diploma, exactly the same story, folks. I, th I hope you can see the theme that I'm looking for here in both the UK and in the US. I'm looking for companies with very solid balance sheets, plenty of cash on hand that can take them through this 
uh, period and come out of this period looking exceptionally strong, being able to buy assets for next to nothing. Uh, uh, so it pulled back to that long-term trend line. Uh, we've uh, got an old top, uh, support becoming resistance, earnings per share showing that wonderful uh, growth with very little volatility over the, the last five years. Halma, Halma hasn't quite pulled back to the old top on the trend line. Uh, it had a down day yesterday. Uh, uh, I, I think it'll be fine at these levels. Be happier if it had come back to support, but uh, Halma looking good. JD, of course, uh, has come back to uh, uh, support, found a strong uh, accumulation at that support level. I believe it's, a, it's, it's running uh, very strongly uh, this morning, uh, Tuesday, uh, the 7th of April. So again, that earnings per share plot looking exceptionally good. And then the last one, of course, uh, which is a gold stock, gold and silver stock. Uh, showed exceptionally strong relative uh, strength, not relative safety, but relative strength over this last period. Uh, came back to that old trend line and pushing up through new highs. The gold price advance should do that exceptionally well. Uh, China's back to work, folks. Uh, so uh, copper seems to have found a bottom. Uh, copper stocks and mining stocks are far from being high relative safety stocks. Uh, and in the next uh, one of these that I do towards the end of the month, I'll talk about mining stocks. Uh, certainly anybody with a little bit of stomach for risk might be tempted into CAS at these particular levels. Uh, the theme uh, of my investing uh, and trading at the moment, folks, is to find shares with high relative safety uh, that can, uh, in fact, make their way through this uh, period uh, and, uh, in fact, prosper through this period. Uh, from all at Vector Vest, we would like to wish the Prime Minister all the very best at the moment. Uh, get well soon, Boris. Thank you.